Hi guys, here is tutorial for tweening and some other stuff. I didn't want to make another body sheet. First you get your op. Go to the body sheets. And screenshot. Now you will have to separate the body parts with the lasso tool. Okay, so did you see the eyes that just suddenly popped up? We'll need the eye white, the iris I think that's what it's called, the end lash, and the eyelid. You can do it with any eyes. So here's how to have the actual body together. Import everything. I suggest you group the eyes together. Pivot points and layer parenting is the most important if you want your body to stick together. To add your pivot points, tap on this again. If it's blue, place your pivot point where it should move. Sorry I'm bad at explaining. You can change the pivot points with keyframes. Now do it with every body part. Let's learn about layer parenting. See how this moves and leaves everything behind? We don't want that. Click here. Click on whatever layer it should stick to. Now the hearts and the front part of the bucket are connected. Now I do the same for the back part of the bucket. Now they moves together. Now you do the same, but with your body parts. Lower arms connects to upper arms, head connects to torso, upper arms connect to torso. See how the lower arm connects. Good eye, so the arms and hair also move when the torso or head moves, why? This is because of the effect, parenting helper. It adds weight onto the arm. You have to rotate the torso so, you know how to add the weight. Do not make it unrealistic. This what not to do. No. Adjust the parenting helper to your liking, but you shouldn't make it unrealistic. Also, this shows how the layer parenting connects the body. What I was going to do wasn't tweening, so, um, screen recording the audio. I import my sound into CapCut, first because it would take up 17 megabytes for only the audio. Okay, so when I tween, I always use that bounce graph. Setting up the character, notice how the body parts stay together. I always use this graph. Watch how I do this. When you want a small delay, either move the graph to half or take off the whole curve. Bro is swimming. I use bend for the hair to give it a more realistic-ish look. Back to actually tweening. Now to make her fly. You should probably do this trend too, since I'm showing steps on how to do it. 3. Making her glow so she can pop. I cannot afford VS, so I do it here. You can make it yourself with the airbrush. You can use any color. Adding fade in or out. Grouping them so I can move the camera. Now to export. Export it. Now let me show you how I get rid of the watermark. 
go back into a light motion. Move the watermark to the opposite side. It was on. Export again. Okay, Coolio. Go to CapCut and add one of the clips. Now add the other one as an overlay. If it adds both watermarks, press invert. Bad quality cause a light motion hates me. Adding watermark. Getting thumbnail. I make my thumbnails so you can do whatever you want with your thumbnails, and I mean it. You can take inspo. It's only a thumbnail after all. Watch how I do it. My thumbnails have flaws too. Comment if you need a tutorial for anything else.